is the clan. Let's go. Whoa, what the heck? All right, we starting off all dark and ominous. I like it. Yo, your man's full of himself. Look at this. I've forgotten what you've promised me. Sure, Ida. Once and for all. Uh oh. Yo, don't do, do anything crazy. Whoa. Ah, <laughs> your boy. Wait, whoa, does that thing not have a head? What was I worried about? We got your boy with the moves. Okay, I can see why she's failed on multiple occasions. It Which is wool. Powerful spells. Repels powerful spells? I want cloak. I think I finally understand why the emperor wants you so badly. He's got the hots for you, doesn't he? Swear to God. Oh, yo. <laughs> if the emperor is like, what if Eda's his ex? I... Whoa, okay. Irony. Careful. What you... Whoa, oh my God. So why don't you? We ain't gonna get that reveal. Your gem, it's still dark. <gasps> your gem is corrupted. <laughs> no, Steven Universe. What happens if you use your magic up? I just kind of sort of turn into the owl beast forever. I just have to limit my magic use a little. Parallel arm thing. Okay. <laughs> That's what they're calling a hug. And I think I know what. Yo, we're gonna get her a cape. Let's go. <laughs> Damn, little of your trash. Field trip. Oh, we're going there? Let's go! Like ancient relics. Look! It is said to cure the deadliest diseases. Uh-oh. Any curse? Yeah. Loose! We're gonna steal? Wait, that's not the loose way. Sneak into the castle, steal healing hat, lift the curse. Alright, pretty simple sound plan. Yo, you should call the Cooper gang. Our folks were doing magic all wrong. He taught us that the only way to respect what the Titan gave us is to join the coven. Whoa, 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 whoa. So people were doing magic their own way. The Emperor came in and was like, nah, I'm gonna show you how to right way to do it and respect what the Titans gave. Wait, so the Titans gave him the magic? I don't know why. This is kind of reminding me of Avatar from the Legend of Korra where, like, you know, you, they had those island uh, lion thingies give people the elements, something like that. Interesting. <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> No! My ship has been damaged! <laughs> oh, wow, they really put her on the sidelines like this? <laughs> That's not how cartoons work. Your leg should have been healed after the last episode. You had like a week to recover. Titan. He can talk to the Titans? Wait, aren't they dead? Huh? The Up until 50 years ago, 50. witches and demons practiced wild magic during what we called the Savage Ages. Emperor ascended to the throne and taught witches how to use magic properly. His items are reminders of our Yo! Where's the tesseract? The most valuable. All right, let's get it. Come along, children. Thank you, students. Good luck with puberty. This what? <laughs> All right, Disney, chill. I got to appreciate the fact that Luz puts on the hoodie. Come on, Kingdom Hearts characters, take note. What in the heck is that? Don't tell me the giant thing is still alive. All right, this man ain't human. What? Unsuccessful, that was obvious enough. Bro, this voice. I... I'm getting bored of your excuses, Lilith. This man, I'm playing games. Don't worry, I... if you fail. And banished from my coven. What happens to covenless witches, don't you? Yo, this man is wild. I thought we were gonna eat her. <laughs> Those are some good life. times. Oh, she always had a good heart, but was impatient and always. I think she's finally growing up. The bus? What? Huh? Oh, yo, you're good. <laughs> but you can borrow it. Hey, hey your man's always that. thinking. We're totally gonna help you. <laughs> your friends are your power. Luce, don't forget, you can jump and hit the circle button. <laughs> Oh my! So she melted the thing with the fire? Luz, you creative genius! Oh. Don't activate a trap! I'm gonna become my best self! You're always your best self. That's, that's inspirational! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yo, your girl got the infinity gauntlet! <laughs> I will know. Alright, let's get it! Arr, use them Hashirama cells! What's Ida's weakness? Oh my god, she's gonna capture Luz! Oh no! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, let's get her! It's two against one, and you don't stand <laughs> a chance again. Dang! Oh my god! You tore it apart! Deliver this to Italy. Yo, your man actually made a cake! We have some bad news. Uh oh, Ida ain't gonna be happy about this. Yo, this man's watching. Oh, ho! what an entrance! Oh shit! Yo, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Talk is cheap. Let's get it. Yo, your girl's been holding back all this time. 
Don't believe everything that Bonehead tells you. That's to control me. Then Figured. Yo, the wild ones you gotta watch out for! <laughs> the flash step! Your girl got the moves! Bro, the budget! Where's the budget? <laughs> it's out of control! Oh my god! This is great! Oh! Suspicious! Oh, yo! For the final flash! Oh shit! Oh no! Uh, she can control it? Whoo! You slowing down, sister. Tell me. That's her slowing down? But then how pathetic are you? Can't best me at my worst. Oh my god! Oh! Maybe you are stronger than me, but Oh my god, if that actually pops it, wow! I am better than you! Oh, oh let her have it! Why were you so easy to curse? What? What? Oh! oh my god! And I have the power to remove it. No! <laughs> about this two days ago how it was oh no oh no oh wait a minute she was sleeping what do you mean I was just so easy to curse what can't even trust your own sister oh my god what I feel like this is pink diamond all over again you guys got to start listening to me all right I played Kingdom Hearts that's 15 years worth of nonsense <laughs> Let me explain. Oh, get her with the flash pop! Oh my! This is too crazy! Yeah, she's trash! Oh my god! Lilith is trash! Garbage! I thought freaking mommy John from Rental Girlfriend was bad! This is worse! What are you doing? Oh, Thanksgiving is gonna be really awkward between these two. But I gotta hand it to Lil if she's, you know. Alright, kid. <laughs> Remember to feed Hootie. <laughs> no! No! Oh, okay, your man, your man saved the day. Oh my god. Oh no, she's got full nine tails! Now we can't ah! really Yo, I get her loose! Knock her out! Leave. Edelin is finally with her family. Albert, no! The defeat! Okay, bring Hootie back to life or whatever, like the house moving, and go get your girl. Where's Ida? I'm so happy with the water. I'm like, I'm like crying. To be continued. No. <laughs> oh no! You really got me tearing. <laughs> Invested. Why was this so good? <laughs> I need to calm down. Oh, God. Oh, my heart. <laughs> no. Simple and clean is the way I'm not feeling tonight. It's hard to let it go. Hold me. <laughs> Let's be honest more. Ning is a little later on Regardless of warnings The future totally scares me <laughs> No! I can't believe it! You know what? I am so I am so beyond grateful That this was not the season finale Can you imagine? Can you imagine? If this was the season finale and we'd have to wait like a year to see what happens next bro i'm so grateful for that thank you because i would not survive i would there's no way i would survive i see the version of me i hope i'll one day be <laughs> all right <sighs> okay sorry about that i just have to go <laughs> take a step out and reflect on life a little bit because this was not oh my god yo <laughs> Where do I even begin? Where do I even begin over here? All right, so uh, a couple things. Let's talk about the characters. Number one, Luce. Oh my God, she's such a you know goody goody two shoe. My friends are my power, and I'm theirs. When I saw her crack a tear, oh, I was losing it. Not <laughs> your girl, Luce. <laughs> oh my God. But hey, I like how Luce was like. You know what? Ida's always doing something nice for me. 
I should probably help her out. I I'm honestly surprised Luce was going to be like, yeah, let's steal this thing. Um, that's not the Luce no Sera way. You know, you always got to stop at a red light, go at a green light, this and that, no jaywalking. So that honestly caught me a little off guard. But hey, the things you do for your friends and whatnot. So, all right, Luce, I see you. But hey, you know, it's time to mm, buckle down and pull up that Sasuke retrieval squad. Well, I guess in this point, it would be the Naruto Shippuden Gara retrieval squad. Because clearly, we are going to be going uh for your girl, Ida. Question, though, is I wonder will Luce, like, you know, squad up? Is she going to get Amity? Is she going to get... Emra, maybe Emra, possibly best girl Emra over here. Haven't mentioned how much I like Emra. I don't know. I just I feel like I should probably <laughs> put that out there. Um possibly Emra, maybe. Uh but no, I mean like seriously, like, you know, she's made friends over here, and you know, Naruto's ultimate special is Takuno Jutsu gathering people to fight alongside you. So I'm wondering, is Luce gonna like, you know, recruit people, or is it just gonna be her and King and that's gonna be it? Because we do see in the promo that Luce is gonna fight Lilith and you know, uh, Lilith is holding on to King. So I'm wondering, are we gonna be like going small team or are we gonna go Avengers up on this and save your girl Ida? Honestly, like I said earlier, just bring Hootie back to life or whatever, make him be able to walk and he will knock out the competition. You're poor girl loose <laughs> in case anybody's wondering this is empty oh my goodness oh and can we talk about how great loose is getting with the magic yet again she is so good with the fire that she was actually able to melt the thing what okay your girl's got the mvp status too bad she couldn't really unleash against lilith but i guess we'll save that for the next episode did she not have any paper spells in hand with her see that's what i'm talking about this girl needs to find another way to do this stuff but all right loose we'll see how you do over here man i gotta wait a week for this uh let's talk about ida next ida your girl's a wild card yo she is a definition of you have so much potential if you weren't lazy <laughs> your girl is a beast yo uh, she oh my god what a powerhouse i love how she went about it too she wasn't like oh uh lilith uh just free loose just talk to me instead no she went in and brrr. <laughs> no chill she said attack first ask questions later she was ruthless all right so she's she's all clearly stronger than Lilith I mean that's 100% can you imagine Ida in her prime oh my god but this just shows you the bonding that of course Ida and Luce have made you know Ida was even making Luce a little cape over here like oh the friendship no she's even accepting hugs like <laughs> She just had to make the sacrifice play. I'm not really too worried about it. So, I mean, come on, think about it. All we need is King to go up to Ida and do that thing, maybe like at max volume, and we will be a-okay. I hope I'm in such denial right now, but wow, you, you could see like, ooh, the sadness, the betrayal in Ida's eyes when she found out that Lilith was the one that cursed her. Man, you guys thought the Pine Brothers had problems. This is a whole nother level, so Ida... What a savage. What a savage. Oh my god, I can't believe it over here. So let's, uh, speaking of Vita, let's go ahead and talk about Lilith. Lilith, trash, trash. I'm sorry. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, but there's probably some good reason. I don't care if there was some good reason at this point. You did what you did. You're, this is like Xehanort. You know, your actions don't validate um, the end goal over here. So... Uh, you know, maybe maybe there was some really good reason. Maybe it was like, if she didn't do it, somebody else was going to do it. Maybe she was low-key saving her by making her an outcast to everybody. I don't know. There's a lot of different ideas that I kind of have about this. I mean, clearly, I know that they have been trying to one-up each other for a very long time. I mean, you even heard Lilith was like, you never thought I was uh, better than you. And Ida such a savage, like, because <laughs> I am better than you. Even at my worst, you still can't beat me. Yo, Ida is such a trash talker. I love it. But wow, Lilith, I mean, crazy with the tactics. She really played the villain. I mean, no lie. Bro, the way she went about it, she was a coward hiding behind Luce and whatnot. Oh my god, savagery, savagery. But bro, to curse your own sister. And you know what's really funny about Lilith being revealed? Is the only reason I actually considered Lilith to be the one that cursed Ida was because of her glasses. That's right. I went by that one thing. That one thing was the reason why I considered Lilith being the person that cursed her. You want to know why I think like that? Because of this. Because of this, boy. Let me tell you every little single piece. You guys got to start listening to my theories, man, because I have some pretty good ideas. I'm pretty clever. I think outside the box over here. I see the views. Oh, 2,000 on this theory video. Yeah, all right. 20,000 on a reaction. I, come on, guys. I know you don't see my pretty face, but... <laughs> I got ideas. So, 
Um, oh God, Lilith, Lilith, Lilith. I mean, I guess it really all comes down to what the Emperor promised her, because Lilith was like, okay, I'm going to deliver Ida, and you're going to promise me that thing. What the heck was the promise? Yo, how much do you want to bet this was like a test for Lilith? Like, maybe it was to show her loyalty to the Coven or to somebody else and, you know, get that inside hookup where it's like, okay, if you curse Ida, boom, we will hook you up with this. I mean, you can even see a little bit in Lilith's, like, face, like, she kind of had regret, but wow, this is so messed up. I mean, the fact that she even has, like, the cure for it, like, we don't even need the Emperor, and she's been playing, like, this whole game, like, sympathizing with her sister, but at the same time, like, nah, I I'm gonna thrash you, I'm gonna do whatever it takes, because I want to keep my status quo up over here. But, I mean, she was kind of scared. She's like, the Emperor was like, hey, you know what happens to rogue witches? Lilith, oh, God, I just, I, I am gonna hate the fact that they're gonna give her some really, really good reason for doing it, redemption arc, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I hope they work things out at the end of the day, but still, at this point, Lilith, trash, garbage. I don't want to see anything about her right now. I, I hope Luz lays the smackdown on Lilith. Man, did you see that? She was really going to push her towards the spike. Maybe she wasn't doing that. Like, you know, she. I don't think she had the intent to kill Luz, but it was more so of just like, you know, her strategic strategy to get Ida to use um, all her magic so she'll turn to the Owl Lady. Something else that was interesting with Lil what Lilith said was that like, okay, Ida's finally back home with her family where she belongs. Are you talking about the Emperor, too? Are you guys actually related, or are you just talking, like, in general, like, me, Lilith, and my sister, Ida? So, wow, wild, crazy, I can't not believe I kind of got that right, simply because of the glasses. I'm telling you, Kingdom Hearts, the littlest things make you can think of the craziest things. At this point, the Owl House has turned into a, if your idea sounds weird or completely dumb, it's a pretty good logical shot that it will actually be legit, so... If you got ideas out there, don't be afraid to say it. So, all right, of course, the big baddie that we got to talk about over here is the Emperor. And boy, do I have a bunch of ideas when it comes to the Emperor himself. So, number one, you know, it's either I'm thinking he's a human, he is actually the Titan himself, or he's just something of being manipulated to actually go ahead and revive the Titan. The Titan thing, it seems to be a pretty big well, thing, and I'm not just talking literally when it comes uh, to this show. Titans once kind of roamed this place. We've seen the Bat Queen before, and she was a palisman type of thing, and this man is feeding off palismans? Yo, what's going on over here? Oh no, Rip Owlbird, you know what I'm saying? Because technically they caught him and he's a palisman thing. <laughs> oh no. So him being human, uh, I'm only thinking that for a couple reasons. Number one, hey, hey, big surprise twist over here. It's definitely an interesting twist to have a human just come over here and start running the show. I mean, it was only a 50 year change where this man started changing things. Although the only thing I question is that it does say he ascends, so... It makes me think that he probably originated from here, but, you know, I don't know. Maybe he met a witch. Maybe he read that Yazora official strategy guide on how to use magic and this and that. And maybe he ends up using magic by, uh, you know, using that giant heart, which, of course, could belong to the Titan. Because we know when it comes to Luz, well, I don't know what's so great about Luz. She's able to use magic. So and maybe because of the plot armor, or maybe she low-key, or maybe low-key the father is actually from this world, or maybe low-key... <laughs> Luce's mom is actually a Zora. The theory's out there, my friends. But hey, I'm Kingdom Hearts person, trust me. If it sounds weird, there's a good chance of it being true, but in some capacity too. Not to mention the fact that he says that he teaches which is the right way to do things. So I can see this man, like, you know, just pulling a bunch of BS to, you know, get people to listen to him, followers, this and that. Your man's a leader over here. So that is something I could possibly see happening over here. Maybe he's got that Taco no Jutsu ability. I don't think it's going to be Luce's dad. I know that's one of the big theories out there. But at this point, they never really have any indication or anything of that loose involving Luce's father like you know when it comes to Disney <laughs> you know the rule you either have a mom you either have a dad or they're both dead that's pretty much a Disney logic over here so they haven't implied anything that involves Luce's father but it would be really hilarious like Luce join the dark side of the force but moving on the second thing I was talking about is maybe the Emperor is like a living corpse like maybe it's actually the Titan uh running the shots over here and, and maybe the reason why he needs those special eye drops is to like you know make it so that the body can go Go ahead and move and whatnot because we did see that the heart was seemed to be very connected to what the emperor was doing like when the emperor got really impatient we saw the heart beating like really fast so maybe that's the titan himself maybe he set up this whole system so he can go ahead and collect all the magic from you know everyone within the aisles to go ahead and revive himself i'm starting to think at this point the titan could actually low-key be the big baddie over here that's just an idea and theory that i have everyone's gonna start copying my ideas just you wait <laughs>
hey, I don't mind. That means you guys are actually watching and paying attention over here. But, I mean, it would also explain why this man is so dressed up over here. Like, maybe because, you know, since he's a corpse, the skeleton thing, obviously he doesn't want to show his body. That's why he's really, um hidden over here so um the emperor being like a body corpse thing for the titan i can kind of see uh, something like that happen or number three maybe the emperor is just it's, it's simply his own dude over here and he just wants to take over the world have total domination maybe he actually wants to revive this t uh, titan so he can actually take control of the titan and rule the boiling isles over here there's a lot of potential with this dude and they could totally go about it a lot of different ways but again this is just me spitballing some ideas i actually need to sit down and you know concentrate and you know take down some actual notes but guys that is basically it for this video what else can i say aside from this episode being absolutely amazing the animation the budget the, the budget disappeared the budget left the chat it was out of control i cannot wait for next week's episode it is going to be totally wild so guys you know uh what i want to know in the comment section below is you know hey what are your theories what are your thoughts what are your predictions if you like the video make sure to give it a big massive thumbs up as that helps me in the channel out quite immensely you aren't already you can follow me on my twitter same thing as my youtube channel which is ed the Wiz. i'm also on instagram which is matt swag one two three four five where i go ahead and post all the good stuff i have a discord link will be in the description below where i do have an owl house tab where we can go ahead and talk about all that owl house goodness so until until next time, my dudes, I'm going to go ahead and say, bye, pal. We'll see you soon. Don't stay tight.